Welcome to our five-part video series on sustainable design using cold form steel. Module 2 outlines the benefits of using cold form steel products when designing sustainable buildings. View the other modules in the series for more information on sheet steel building products and sustainability. This module will cover environmental impacts of buildings, what constitutes sustainability in buildings, green building ratings, performance standards for sustainable components, life cycle assessment, green product ratings, environmental choice label for steel, and the strengths of steel. Recent estimates from various sources show the significant impact of buildings on the environment. In Canada, buildings account for 50% of the extracted natural resources, 25% of landfill waste, 10% of airborne particulates, and more than 65% of electricity consumption. In particular, with the pressing need to address climate change and energy security, the use of energy both for constructing and operating buildings and the resulting carbon emissions, which are over 40% of Canada's greenhouse gas emissions, must be considered matters of urgency. So what makes a building sustainable? Sustainable buildings differ from conventional buildings due to the integration of economic, social and environmental goals. The environmental considerations can be summarized as direct and indirect ecological impacts such as reduced greenhouse gas emissions or reduced water use. Social considerations can be directly related to a building, such as clean and comfortable air or natural light, or could extend beyond the building, like promoting the use of mass transit or urban densification. Sustainable building design considers the impact of the building on resources and health. It aims to minimize the use of primary resources and create healthy indoor and outdoor environments. A principle of sustainable design is to develop closed-loop systems that minimize the use of primary resources or inputs and the creation of waste or outputs. Instead, they aim to maximize reuse and recycling and try to achieve more with less. This requires a consideration of the full life cycle of the building and the components that are used in it. How do we measure or assess sustainable buildings? A variety of green building rating systems provide standards for what constitutes a new green building or transformations of existing buildings to green designs that support construction and operation as mainstream practices. Most systems focus on environmental aspects and not on the economic and social aspects of sustainable design. In North America, LEED, which stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, is the most widely known green building rating system. LEED is a voluntary, consensus-based, market-driven building rating system based on proven technology. LEED aims to improve occupant well-being, environmental performance, and economic returns from the building, using both established and innovative practices. It is also intended to prevent exaggerated or false claims of green and to provide a common standard of measurement. LEED offers a third-party certification process whereby points are collected within a list of environmental performance categories. It also aims to promote whole building integrated design practices. Other green rating tools used worldwide include BOMA Best, which is based on green globes and is mainly used in commercial buildings in North America. The Toronto Green Building Standard has become mandatory in Toronto. R2000 is a Canadian energy rating for homes, and Energuide provides a rating from 0 to 100 for homes in Canada. BREAM is a UK-based rating system also used internationally for various building types. Passive House, a German system requiring very low energy use, is beginning to be used in North America. Energy Star provides minimum standards for energy efficiency for whole buildings and components, such as windows and appliances. Living Building Challenge aims to set a standard for net zero impact buildings. To reduce the environmental impact of buildings, 
Performance criteria must focus on the characteristics of individual materials and components used, including source materials, their durability, and their location of origin, which accounts for impacts of energy used to transport them. Specifically, building designers must ask themselves some fundamental questions regarding all building components, such as, is it renewable or scarce? Was its production energy intensive or polluting? Was it sourced locally? If not, how much transport was involved? Will it affect its installers or users negatively? Will it require extensive maintenance, which could damage the environment? What will happen to it at the end of its useful life? Does it have a unique or positive function, which might offset its environmental impacts? Is there a better option? To reduce the environmental impact of buildings, we need to consider the characteristics of individual materials and components used in the building, including embodied energy, consumption of non-renewable fuels, greenhouse gas emissions, other atmospheric emissions, land consumption, impact of the site on the ecology, materials consumption, as well as indoor air quality, lighting and acoustics, waste, longevity, adaptability, and flexibility, building management, social and economic consideration, closed-loop systems, renewable resources, local sourcing, and health impacts of trades. In the case of buildings, material manufacturing contributes to emissions and the release of toxins into the environment. Life cycle assessment is increasingly accepted as the most rigorous basis for comparing the environmental impacts of alternative building materials, components, and services. The Athena Institute has developed the Athena Environmental Impact Estimator software, which includes databases that quantify the impacts of materials used. The impact estimator is not a scoring or rating system, but rather a decision tool to facilitate better whole building, environmental life cycle based decisions for building designers, product specifiers, and policy analysts. And it can be used at the conceptual design stage of a building project, when key decisions are made regarding the shape and material makeup of a building structure and envelope. It highlights environmental implications of different material mixes or design choices, so users can evaluate how trade-offs might mitigate various environmental effects. Capable of simulating over 1,200 different assembly permutations, the impact estimator's data is relevant to approximately 95% of the building stock in North America and offers the entire building community easy access to its comprehensive life cycle information, thereby fostering more holistic, more informed environmental decisions. In addition to green building ratings, several product rating systems have also been introduced to make it easier for designers to assess the impact of specific products. Some, such as Greenspec and Pharos, cover many products, while others focus on a specific category. Cradle to Cradle is based on closed-loop environmental principles, and the Environmental Choice Eco logo signifies multiple environmental attributes. Additionally, various trade associations and other interest groups offer product-specific ratings, such as the Forestry Stewardship Council and CSA for Sustainable Timber Standards. The National Fenestration Rating Council provides window energy ratings based on heat loss or gain. The Carpet and Rug Institute's Green Label for Flooring and the Green Seal Rating for Paints. The Environmental Choice Echo logo is North America's most widely recognized and respected multi-attribute environmental certification mark. It certifies environmental leaders in more than 300 product categories. The Echo logo helps environmental marketers win customers and helps buyers, both consumer and corporate, find and trust the world's most sustainable products. By helping environmental leaders win, Echo logo helps move the entire marketplace towards sustainability. Environmental Choice Document CCD150 applies to steel producers. 
All producers who become Ecologo licensees go through a very rigorous auditing process in order to qualify. The document sets criteria for the Ecologo to be used on steel construction products. To receive environmental choice certification, steel must be derived from feedstocks with a minimum recycled content of 50% and a minimum post-consumer content of 15%. It must come from feedstocks containing less than 0.025% total combined hazardous heavy metals and be wholly produced from slabs manufactured on site, not from slabs imported from other facilities. In its hot band state, it must possess a total gate-to-gate -gate embodied energy lesser or equal to 7.5 megajoules per kilogram. In its final finished steel roll state, it must possess a total gate-to-gate -gate embodied energy lesser or equal to 11.5 megajoules per kilogram. Sound environmental management system and practices implemented at the steel production facility. Make a concerted effort to source from operations that have implemented a sound environmental management system and management practices, where hazardous byproducts are segregated and adequate arrangements made for the recycling reuse where applicable or proper disposal. Let's look at the strengths of steel. Some of steel's greatest strengths are its recyclability. CFS is usually over 85% recycled content. Its reuse potential, 10% of steel components are reused. Its high strength to weight ratio, its durability, metal coated steel can last over a hundred years. Its efficient use of materials with less volume of material used. Its adaptability and flexibility, its speed of construction, its accurate precision manufacturing with less waste on the job site. Its prefabrication potential, which makes it suitable for off-site manufacturing. Need more information on using cold form steel in sustainable design? Watch the other four modules in this series, explore our website at cssbi.ca, or call us at 519-650-1285. For more information on the Environmental Choice Eco logo, visit environmentalchoice.com.